I've lived in Changu for over 10 years, and these are the things I don't like about Changu. Now what you far doing with the light sticks? Maybe help me spark the ideas. We got nowhere else to go. It's only up from there. I've been on my own, just running through the field, say they live for the ears. I know that's how they like. Yeah, I fantasize. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I feel it. I let them hit the fear of a I don't hate Changu, Changu's my home, I love Changu. These this is just a things that people don't mention about Changu. They say Bali Changu's the best place in the world, but the thing is they don't mention the bad things about Changu. Changu's a great place. I don't hate Changu. Just to clear things up, I'll be making a video about why you should live in Changu or like why why is Changu a great place to be in. So here are the reasons why. Stay tuned. The traffic is really bad. Obviously, uh, with the crowd comes the traffic. In Changu especially, the, it gets really crowded, so it comes with the traffic. Right now, I'm going on the motorbike, so we'll see the traffic. And the thing is, because we're in Corona right now, there's not a lot of traffic, like, considering it's still pretty crowded. It doesn't get as, like, you don't get too much traffic. Usually, it's really bad, like, not Corona-wise, but it still gets bad. <laughs> So right now, I'm just packing my stuff, we're gonna go, and I'll show you the traffic. It is very crowded in Changu. Obviously, comes with the crowd also, the traffic, and probably not being able to find a restaurant, probably not be <laughs> yeah the places are just very crowded usually they're very crowded and currently where I am right now it is not crowded at all it's dead because um, no one goes to the beach at this time So over here, it's not as culture in Changu, especially around here, because uh, there's just not a lot of culture to suck in, you know. Surely, the, you can see probably the normal Bali stuff, like the Chanao, the Hindu culture, the um, the Buddhist culture, all the other religion cultures, and over here, it's not as culture-y. You can't feel the full Bali experience, like with the uh, events or the massive puras that they have here. But the thing is, we don't have that here, so... And it's probably very windy audio since I don't have a dead cat. So I was just talking to these guys. What I mean it's crowded, they, I asked them, uh, prime hours, weekends. How many people do you think is around in this uh, bar up here? He said, weekends up to 300 people. 300 people! This is Corona! When I mean it's crowded, it is fucking crowded. It's off, off the charts. 300 people weekends on sunset is ridiculous. So that's another reason why I'm saying Changu is pretty crowded. It's very windy here, so you probably can't hear me right. But the beach isn't as nice as other beaches in Bali. As you can see, there's a lot of rip. The waves are big. You basically, you can't swim here. Cause see that? See the way water is moving? The, by, by the time you get in the water, you'll be out. You'll be on the other side of the beach. And another reason why you can't swim in echoes. Rocks. There's a ton of rocks. It goes all the way out. Hello, bro. Hello. Apa kabar semuanya? Mak bagus hari ini ya. I don't know when was the last time I've been to Echoes. It's been a while. It's been a long while. It's been a long while. If you've been to Bali, you probably miss Echoes. That's the thing. It's not crowded right now, but probably during sunset it's gonna get hella packed. And yeah, as I said, the beaches aren't as nice here because yeah, because of the rocks and you can't swim unless you're just here just for the sunset for dinner to just vibe, you know. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good place if you just want to vibe, you know, feel, feel the beach, feel the Bali. Yeah, go ahead. But if you're planning to swim, surf, and if you're only a beginner, surfing here is not good. It's only for kind of intermediate and like good surfers. Yeah, 
It's been a while. It's, been a while. it's pretty built up here now, actually. Last time I've been here, I, I remember this was just like flat, like just nothing here. But now it's just pretty built up. I haven't probably been here in a year, maybe more, two years, because of COVID and stuff. I, I usually do surf here, but because of COVID and stuff, I haven't been to Echo specifically. And I'm going to have a look at the rocks here. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention. There is no nature, not a lot act, at all. Like if you're going, coming to Bali expecting rice fields left and right, Changu isn't the place for that. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Literally this whole road used to be all rice fields. This all the way to my house, this all used to be rice field and look at it now. It's turned into crap. There's surely there's a few more rice fields around the area, but it's gonna end. This is all gonna be villas. There's no more forest around here. Uh, so maybe there's a few rice fields around the area. Like as you can see back there, there's, uh, there's some rice field and over there too. But most of the area is getting built. Built, built, built. New buildings everywhere. As you can see behind me, another one getting built. No more nature. Any place you go is obviously going to have its pros and its cons. And the one that I mentioned just now are all cons. The pros will be coming in the next video, but uh, next video is definitely going to be about Nusa Penida because I'm going there on Wednesday. Um, I think my boat leaves about, I don't know, like 6 o'clock in the morning to Penida. So yeah, that would be exciting vlog. Um, everyone's currently looking at me. This is kind of bad. <laughs> Holding a DSLR on a beach is not a great idea, but it's for the content, guys. Should you live in Changu? Well, that depends on you. Do you like to just sit and watch the sunset with your beer, or you like to swim in the ocean and you're a surfer beginner? Well, it really depends on what you think of from all those things that I mentioned to you earlier, if you like Changu or not. There's plenty of other places like Ubud. Gyanyar, the north of Bali, Denpasar, and other places like Nusa Dua, Uluwatus, and the list goes on. That's all up to you. And once again, I have no hate against Changu. I love Changu. Changu is my home and forever will be. Those are the things that people just don't mention about Changu. And next video is about Sungai Watch, me and Gary just had a shoot today about their um, headquarters. Hopefully that will be the next video. After that one, we're going to go to Nusa Penida. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned. Put the notification bells on so you can don't miss a video. And hopefully you like this one. Give it a like below. Comment on what you think about these things that I mentioned to you or if you have more to add. So thanks for watching, guys. Peace. I got a few answers here. First. The drunk people at night. That's very specific. But yes, they could be a lot of drunk people around here. Hey YouTube. Is this, uh, hey, hey, guys. Guys. hey guys. Hey guys. follow Hello, my Instagram, Adam Latif. Hey, Adonis G. Morreros. Follow. What's up, bro? Follow. What's up, bro?